Hello everyone, my name is Matt, and today I will be playing Balloon Fight on the Switch. Uh, yeah, so this game is from 1984. I was five years old at the time. Uh, not a, I don't really remember playing this too much um, on the NES or at the arcades. I believe this was at the arcades. It seems like it would be an arcade game. So, but uh, anyway, I will uh, begin level one here. Level one is fairly easy. I'm able to get through it uh, most of the time without dying, so that's good. See. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, I did a. I'm, okay, I got greedy there. Um, I did a previous video where I played this and I could not get past level five. Oh man, I'm playing like this. I may not get past level two. Come on. All right, into the drink. Okay, you eat, you eat him, you eat him up, you fish. All right. The uh, the gameplay and physics are pretty much like uh, Joust, the arcade game Joust. Um, you just push one button, and in this case, it's the A button. You just keep pushing it to to ascend. Ooh. Oh, come on. Damn. <laughs> okay. That was not fun. Well, at least I made it to level three. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Confusing. <laughs> okay. There are two types of games in this. I guess that's what you call them. Uh, there's this one. It's like a where it's just one screen, and then there's another type where it's um, horizontal, horizontally scrolling. So um, I'll be playing both. And. I won't be editing or anything. Uh, I, won't, I don't plan on playing this too long. It's just basically to have some fun, see how far I can get. Which I might be able to get to level three, level four. And I did. Cool. Oh wait, I. Okay, I have gotten to. Okay, I've gotten this far. I forgot that this is a is a bonus level. So yes. I have gotten at least to level four. These are always kind of, these are fun. This kind of reminds me of uh, the bonus levels in Galaga. Galaga, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Gal Galaga. All right, I think I did decent, I guess. Level four, here we go. I do like uh, these kind of early arcade games where it's just a simple, simple mechanics, simple game mechanics, where you have to jump on top of the person to kill them. Alright, well, let's try it again. I mean, I didn't do so bad on that time around. Let's see if I can kill. 
all these jerks. Alright. The, uh, going back and forth from one side to the other. Oh, I was just waiting for that fish to get me. It kind of throws me off a little bit. <clears throat> no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, you did. Oh, boy. Okay. This one I thought was getting good at this game. <laughs> game will wear out your thumb. It's been a long time since I played like Flappy Bird, but it's kind of like that. But I think Flappy Bird was more like like an immediate fall. This is like kind of a little bit more floaty physics and I love the animation of the the balloon guy. Ugh. His flapping arms are funny to me. Alright, well that's that version of the game. I don't have another person to play two player right now, so we will be moving on to Balloon Trip, which is the horizontal scroller. Yeah, I'm always, I, yeah, okay, <laughs> not a good first run there. Yeah, I really like the animation, it, it's good. I, I don't know, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not much to it, but it's, I don't know, fluid, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, I do not remember playing this in uh, the arcades. We had one arcade in our in our town, and uh, I was more of a '90s arcade player. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Simpsons were the big one, big ones at the time. So those were the ones that we crowded around. Oh, I don't believe. First dip is a really, it's a real killer. I believe we had uh, Beavis and Butthead as well. Alright. I think it's to this part where it's, oh, come on now. <laughs> where it's just like floating electrical currents or whatever. Stars, electric bolts, I don't know. And I'm curious how far I can... Oh, man. That... The physics on this, or whatever you want to call it, are very floaty. And, like, can be kind of inconsistent. But, I mean, it's probably just user error. I think I'm more attracted to this type of gameplay than the other... But, uh, I don't know, that might just beca be because of, uh, like, I like side-scrolling games, but and it's weird that you go right to left instead of the normal right, or left to right with, like, regular side-scrolling games. I didn't really, I should have re researched this more, but, uh, I didn't. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to try this just a few more times and then wrap it up. Wrap it up. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, that one didn't count. I can see where this game would be addicting. 
This would eat my quarters like crazy. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's how far you can get or the number of balloons or what's, what the deal is here. Oh, man. Curiosity, I guess. I want to know. I want to know if this ever ends or <laughs> or what. If, if there's like levels in this, am I just really bad at this? <laughs> try here and then I'll I'll call it quits. Unless I get eaten by the fish again. <laughs> no no no. It's weird because you wanna be you don't wanna be like on the very edge. See getting the bubble like Pauses the game, which I mean isn't. Oh, I got further the uh, the other gameplay that I did, but I mean, I guess that's as good as I'm gonna get this time around. So, yeah, no editing or anything with this with these uh, playthroughs. I'm ju I just do these for fun. Um, just kind of quick and dirty editing, just raw footage and have it be done. So you get to see all my deaths. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't claim to be a pro gamer or fabulous or anything. Um, I guess I'm kind of using these as documentation of the games that I have played. I think it's kind of a cool way to document the games that you want to play and uh, I have made a list of like 200 games that I like bucket list games that I want to play before I croak <laughs> so uh, I'm going to try to maybe do a video for each one of those uh, and they're games from, like, the 70s to around 2000, 2003, maybe. Uh, I believe the latest game is uh, uh, Metroid Prime, I think, is probably one of the last games on the list. It's a, it's a list of games that I want to revisit that I played as a kid and I want to revisit and games that I missed as a kid and young adult. Um, I stopped playing video games around college. Like, yeah, there's a few college years I stopped playing games and there's a lot of video games that I kind of want to try that I've never, that are not in my <laughs> wheelhouse at all. <laughs> And those are, yep, like the games from, like, the early 2000s. So, yeah, I plan on hopefully making those kind of videos. Uh, but this channel is mostly for my art uh, stuff. Uh, I do illustration by trade and, or children's book illustration by trade. And uh, that's mostly what this channel is for. These are just, these video game videos are just fun little things that I put on to <laughs> entertain mostly myself, I guess. So, uh, yeah, 
If you want to check out my other illustration stuff, you can do that, of course. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, and I hope you keep on watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.